Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and I was actually reading a blog post, and I realized that I haven't even touched on spacing or syntax or the importance of indentation. So let's just jump into it. So this is only going to be about syntax and syntax errors and how to solve it. So let's just jump into it. So all right here's very important about for loops and again I apologize because I do this in the classes that I go over at uh, middle schools and elementary schools and have not even touched on this so I apologize so alright everybody pay close attention so I'll show you the correct way first and then I'll show you the incorrect way so alright Python and Denon for us correct so if you come here and you hit enter and you do not get an indentation you forgot your colon so let's say you're in a hurry and you still get this and you decide that you want to run it and so you get an invalid syntax and you see this line right here this infinite pink line you forgot something to close that out you'll also get that you should get that here on I think this one we'll show you that in a second so alright here's best practice that I found just backspace to that line and you go oh aha that's why because I was here and I'm not indenting so always go to the previous line solve that indentation and go from there so alright so now that runs nice and neat. So now let's look at this one. Do this. Unexpected. Because this is going to run, 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 run. Actually, let's show this. This should grab that. So here we go. Yeah. Invalid syntax. And it's almost always, almost always, almost always the line before it. So we close that out. Lo and behold, go back. Oh, I put I, so X not defined. I was getting in a hurry. So there we go. So we got that twice. So now this one, this is the one that caught my eye. Right here. Invalid syntax. So I don't think we've actually talked about this. So again, apologize about this. Indentation, indentation, indentation. Now, this is how whenever you have commands they always have to go so we have our you can see our prints line up right here if I have never actually I know I haven't talk about this at middle school and elementary schools but I have not talked about this so columns keep your eyes right here so column 1 0 4 Python automatically is set to go or my version and I think Google standard is for if you want to get really nerdy and very technical we haven't gotten into too technical stuff yet but we're heading that way so alright four so whenever you have things that wherever you start and Python cares about indentation or if you really want to get nerdy white spaces so that's eight so you need your headers to line up and you need your body to line up and they need to stay consistent so now let's run this so these are some of the syntax and I just wanted to get this out because I have not done this yet and I apologize so syntax errors whenever you have a syntax error just take your time and it's usually for syntax and this is why I like this it's always either the current line in not indented properly or, or the previous line not closing out and again this is what I suggest best practice let's say you're off here's another perfect one you're off a little bit you're like at three and okay that didn't fail but let's just say you're way out of whack put your cursor right in front of it backspace to the previous line and then hit enter because one thing that we'll talk about tabs and spaces actually let's talk about it now so okay that 
that was a tab and so that did not fail there but when you start to mix tabs and spaces it will look the same it is not the same so you will drive yourself nuts trying to find them so I always suggest move the line to the line before and let Python do the indenting for you you will go nuts especially when you get pretty sophisticated and you have 8, 9, 10, 12, 100, 1000 you'll go, you'll go insane so let Python help and also take your time it's usually something simple semicolon parentheses or something not indented properly so that is that that is syntax errors and when I when I think or run across others I'll add them to this series and we'll just drop these in throughout so thanks for watching don't forget to click that like and subscribe button and most important that notification bell and I want to tell you I really appreciate everybody watching these videos and keep the comments coming and video requests absolutely love them so thanks again Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.